oh, they locked us down, locked us down, saying it was uh, due to uh, between uh, 16 and 18 drug-related homicides, plus the, uh, the flow of contraband drugs, which, uh, I mean, it's always oh, suicides. So they locked us down. A few days later, we hear that it's uh, because a guy on Polanski killed his silly while how it's speculated how I met. There's no proof of being, I, I can't give no proof of it, but uh, it was uh, heading had him to sell for like 72 hours and started cutting the body up. So I later verified from, uh, verified from someone else. Two days after that, uh, we're here eating the sack meals, you know, two sandwiches three times a day. And uh, a few days or two days after that, uh, the inmate kills himself here after uh, two or three weeks of, of just mental and verbal abuse from uh, inmates around him. And I know this is fact because you can hear it from all the way over here. So, uh, you know, I'm like, I, 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 I said, I was in the shower looking at the little, the little uh, wire porthole there and drying off, waiting on the officer to come. And I see all run over there 20 minutes later. She wheeled the body out with blood all over. All of them was kind of, they were kind of doing a little show like they were trying to resuscitate him. And he'd been out dead for like two hours. Specifically, specifically, because officers were doing their their security checks every thirty minutes. Officers have been here two hours. Two hours came on shift, and he hadn't walked around. But they walked around, and it, oh, there's dead body in there, and uh, left all the guy's property, all this all the stuff that should have been sent to his family, all this personal stuff, just left it to sell, moving guy cleaned the cell up, mopped all the blood. And uh, move someone in there the next day, like, you know, no big deal, another day at the office. 